Do you feel overwhelmed reading research papers? You might be reading too deep, too fast. The three-pass reading method is a tried and true technique for reading papers at the right level of understanding. I first learned it six years ago when I was in an AI reading seminar from Professor Patrick Winston. I've been using the method ever since and it's been really useful. In pass one, your goal is only to understand the main idea. This should take five to 10 minutes. Here, we'll just read the main parts of the paper. It's title, abstract, headers, figures, conclusion, and references. Let's go through these one by one. First, read the title and abstract to try to identify what the author claims to be the main points of the paper. If you notice questions while you're going through this process, start highlighting them in red so that you can come back to them in the future. Additionally, I like to write down follow-ups that I'm starting to get curious about that I want to understand by the time that I'm done reading. Now, read through all the headers of the paper. This is useful not only for understanding the layout, but also for making a plan of how I'm going to read. Often, I'll find myself slogging through some section where it's useful to rise up, remember the context for what I'm reading, and potentially move on if I'm feeling stuck. Now, read the figures and their captions. The figures and images often contain either the core data or overview of the system or results that the paper is trying to convey, often in a way that actually has less of the author's own interpretation in it, which can be useful for your main goal of trying to figure out how to understand the ideas for yourself. Then read the conclusion, which often contains the paper's main claims or takeaways. I'll then go and often add my first one-line summary of what I think the paper is trying to say. Generally, I'll be wrong here, but I still find this useful to start to get an understanding of how I'm gonna think about the paper going forward. Finally, look at the references. Generally, there are papers that are very fundamental where reading them really helps with my understanding, and these will be cited by many of the other papers. Trying to find these fundamental papers can save you a lot of time and help you get down to the core of what you're trying to learn. With practice, this should only take around five to 10 minutes. We're now able to begin taking these questions we found and start looking for answers. Having a goal here generally changes the experience from feeling like a slog of reading every word to more of a hunt of trying to find the diamonds of insights that we can integrate into our own understanding of the ideas in the paper so that we can take them and use them in the future. Towards the end of this video, I'll show some example notes that I've taken with this method so that you can see how I break things down with these different passes. In pass two, read through the paper. I'll try to go through each section here and read each sentence at least once and start writing on my own notes or model understanding of this in my own words. While reading each section, I like to keep my notes organized. So I'll press the little button here next to the header to create a corresponding section in my notes on the left. I also like to make image occlusion flashcards from these figures so that I can test myself and remember some of the important details that stand out to me in the future. Here, I'll just open up the note in the sidebar and then click on image occlusion to begin practicing. Now it's time for pass three. The paper here recommends trying to virtually re-implement the underlying experiment here. Instead, I like to do this by breaking down the ideas as deeply as possible for myself in RemNote to build on my own understanding of them. This has many of the same benefits, identifying assumptions, challenging those assumptions, and also breaking apart each idea into smaller parts where I can then figure out how they all fit together. This is also just significantly faster. During this phase, I'll also often extract out more flashcards that I can use to reinforce my mastery of these ideas in the terms that I want to think about them going forward. Here, I also like to bring out some of the important ideas that help me to summarize my understanding of the paper. You can see I'll often add a one-line summary, write down the main results, or even write some, some doubts here. Here are three example papers that I've read with this method. The first paper is from Duolingo about a new space repetition algorithm that they were exploring that tries to model the difficulty of different words. You can see here that I kept my one-line summary, results, and doubts at the top. I maintained a list of to-dos that I wanted to think about while I was reading, and then I kept my actual notes, which were the bulk of the output. You can see that I sometimes portaled in relevant ideas in my knowledge base to provide context or add new details, descriptors, or other notes to build upon those with what I was thinking about in this paper. For some of these, 
I actually just paused reading the paper and went and found other resources, like I had to remind myself what this correlation coefficient was and how it was defined. Now I have better flashcards that'll help ensure I don't forget that going forward. Often, probably most frequently, I'll do some of these steps, but not go through them all. Again, your goal with reading is not to read every word, but to find the important ideas that you'll actually be able to use in the future. You can see that for this paper, I extracted the main summary and then stopped reading. As a third example, recently I was interested in trying to learn more about transformer neural networks, and I decided to read the original Transformers paper here. You can see that my notes are almost just exclusively me trying to break down the idea for myself into components that are understandable. So that's it. I found this three-pass method to really provide structure to my reading and to save me a lot of confusion and time. If you want to remember what I talked about in this video, go to the description and, and import some of the flashcards that summarize what I talked about here. Or go pull out that paper you've been procrastinating on and give it a try.